Hey there, it's Nicole in Nesting Haven. Today I'm sharing with you part two to my church rummage sale haul. Today I'm going to share the linens, the vintage linens that I found. I wasn't able to share with you while I was looking through the linens in my shop along with me because I needed both hands, right? But I found some interesting pieces. Uh, I'll start with the non hand embroidered stuff first that I found. Uh, if you missed part one to this haul, I did spend $10 overall. So essentially I'm breaking this up into three videos, I think. And so we'll just say I paid $3.33 for what I'm showing you today. And the first one I got is this really pretty lace table runner here. I thought this was quite nice. I like the way lace looks and I just think it just adds a little something extra you know to the table and it just seemed like a really nice nice little table runner I I potentially I'm gonna resell this one then I found this set of four placemats here they're quilted placemats and I just thought they were really nice they have the gorgeous orange flowers on it and it has this kind of swirl threaded detailing through it as well so I don't know I just really liked them and these potentially will be resold in my Etsy shop as well I found this really large tablecloth here. It would fit a long rectangle table and it has this really nice orange and green striped checkered, I don't even know what you would call it, lines here. And then it has fruit on, <laughs> on the four corners, I would say, of it. it. Looks like this. I'm pretty sure it's just on like all the four corners and maybe it's checkered all the way down. Let's see. I guess it would be eight, six panels. One, two, three, five. I think it's five panels on both sides would be on there 10 times. And then I believe these cloth napkins actually go with this set. It appeared as though they were a set, right? So they had those. I'll open it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. But yeah, they had a set of one, two, three, four, five. So we have a full set of six, so that's nice to go with that. And I think, I think I'm gonna put that in the booth just because I don't feel like it's a super nice quality. Uh, it's really, it's vintage, but it's pretty thin and uh, you know, a little bit worn looking. So I don't know if something like that would actually sell on Etsy or not, but uh, that might just be a booth item. So even though I don't have a round table, I am keeping this tablecloth for myself because I absolutely am in love with this yellow color, this mustard yellow. And it is this yellow lace, and it's, like I said, it's a round tablecloth, but I'll just open it up a little bit so you guys can see it. How gorgeous is that? I was super happy to find that, and now I'll have to find a round table. <laughs> this tartan plaid is actually a round tablecloth as well. I didn't notice when I grabbed it that the backing is kind of coming off of it. It has this like plastic coating and it's starting to come off. It just has this really pretty tasseling detail around the edge of it. So what I actually think I'm gonna do with this is wash it and use it as a picnic blanket. I think that'll be pretty nice to use, you know, with the fam. I think it's quite large enough that can at least fit the kids on it <laughs> and keep the bugs off of us if we go on picnics this summer. So I think that's my intention for that. I was going to resell it, but I, with all that backing coming off, I just don't think that's wise. So they had a bunch of cross stitch and hand embroidered items there. Uh, I'll show you, I'm gonna save the best one for last, my absolute favorite. But this one here is, is a nice cross stitch one has the flowers there. This is a table runner, I believe. Yeah, it's about that size. So that's what it looks like. Really gorgeous. This one actually doesn't appear to have any stains. Normally I find these with stains on them, but this one is in top notch shape. <laughs> and now, like I said, I'm saving the best one for last there. So they had a bunch of these pre-made not pre-made, but someone handmade them and you normally would frame these, but these weren't framed out, but someone enjoyed making them, I guess. You can see all the hard work on the back <laughs> where they did all the knots and stuff. But this one I thought was really nice. I love the different like multicolored quilt. 
there and it has a little rocking chair and the lamp so cute how precious is this now i'm gonna be on the hunt for frames for these and i'm i likely will keep most of them oh there's actually a little black cat there too i didn't notice <laughs> but yeah i like i really like this one the next one that needs to be framed is this floral one here very gorgeous it has kind of those muted fall colors really it has the blue in it but it kind of just reminds me of fall for some reason and I really enjoy that. I definitely want to frame this and I want to add it to my floral gallery wall. And again, I don't know, I just find the backs interesting. <laughs> but you can see, just look at all the hard work someone put into these. I can't believe they didn't bother to go uh, frame them after they did all the work to them. So here's the next one. Really gorgeous, more flowers. So I gotta find a frame for this. This one seems to be a little bit smaller, but they actually have it attached still to another square so I could you know cut that off and potentially give a give it a go and see if I can make something off of it see if I can find a pattern for it or something so I'll have a nice cloth to try it on anyways but yeah super gorgeous love that now this next one is really nice because it's actually a depiction of a Norman Rockwell so I thought that was really neat I've never come across any like that but you can see down here, someone actually hand-stitched the Norman Rockwell down in the corner, and these are hard to hold up. <laughs> but you see the picture there? How amazing is that? So nice. I do collect some Norman Rockwell stuff. You see all that hard work they did? So nice. Really love that. So those of you that have actually made something like these before, maybe you could help me out with this one here because it has this like screen material on it, which I, it's kind of confusing me why they would have had it in there. But they have this one here, which is really gorgeous, right? But then, let's see if I can get a close up for you. You see right here where there's this, this uh, screen? It's on there in two spots, and I don't know why they used it. Do you think they just used it because they thought it added something to the picture, or was it something that they needed to use to make the actual piece, like to do better detailing? Do you think they normally would have cut this off after they were done so you wouldn't see it? I don't really know how it works. <laughs> it appears that you probably would have tried to cut that off. If I'm supposed to cut it off, let me know. <laughs> I feel like I should because it. I feel like it takes away from the overall piece. I mean, the piece is obviously finished, but it has that screen, so I'm not quite sure why. Okay, so I saved the best one for last. You guys know that I'm really into deer, right? If I see anything with deer on it, I typically always get it. And I found one. I found a cross stitch, uh, I guess hand embroidered piece here, a little, little table runner with deer. How gorgeous is that? Ah, I'm so excited when I saw this. It is double-sided. So nice. Has this really nice detailing around the edge as well. I like it when they have that on it, but. I was so excited when I saw that. <laughs> I'll be keeping that one myself. And I was gonna do the jewelry in this haul. I didn't get a whole lot, but I think I'm just gonna do it in a separate video because this is running a little bit long. And that way, if anyone isn't interested in jewelry, they can just go ahead and, you know, not watch. <laughs> and if they don't want to watch the linen, they can skip that one too. I'll try to maybe post them the same day. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's haul. I'm going to go ahead and film the jewelry that I picked up here and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.